Literature we often face today is built upon the ideas of what's going on in our world. While in the past it was built on plot and character twists like we saw in Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, now we've entered a phase where literature is almost defined by our, what's going on around us, what's going on in the world, what's happening in our society, and what's happening with our author, what happened in their life, and how is that going to influence our character. We get to see this in so much of so much more of a literal aspect where we see it in our text right the world we often face challenges our characters in literature and it's often the case that, integ that the integrity of those characters becomes compromised this is shown in khaled hosseini's uh the kite runner where we have a young boy amir who compromises his own integrity for his own personal gain he states Nothing was free in this world. Maybe Hassan was the price I had to pay, the lamb I had to slay, to win Baba. In this case, he characterizes his childhood friend and family member, Hassan, as a lamb he had to slay. He treats him like an animal because he thought to himself at that moment that his needs were above Hassan's instead of where it should be equal, right? And we live in a world of equality where everyone is treated equally as they should be. But at that moment, As Amir said, I'm going to let Hassan become compromised. And he let him be overtaken and overpowered in an alley. And he watched and he pretended as if it didn't happen because he, he got compromised, right? He said he, it was no longer the case of being a family member. It was just the case of being humane. And it happens so much more than in, just in the kite runners, uh, in the kite runner. It also happens in the story, the, one who walk, the Ones Who Walk Away from Omelos by Ursula K. Le Guin. She states, It is because of the child that they are so gentle with the children. They know that if the wretched one were not there, sniveling in the dark, the other one, the flute player, couldn't make no joyful noise. As the young riders line up in their beauty with race in the sunlight the first morning of summer. Now, this is a story of a utopian society that isn't exactly a parallel with something else in our world like the Kite Runner was, but it shows how where everything was up and happy in this, uh, on this world above the surface, below the surface there's a cage where there's a child who was suffering. For every positive aspect that one person gained, another person suffered, just like how in the Kite Runner, where Amir, where Amir prospered, Hassan suffered. Now that connection shows the, the world we often face presents those challenges. While in the Kite Runner, it was a world view of gaining your parents' approval. In the ones who walk away from Omelas, we have that societal influence, right? That, that part of society that says, I'm going to put my happiness over this child who's suffering. But sometimes characters are built in environments that are so harsh. Sometimes they are true, unlike the Kite Runner and the ones who walk away from Omelas. Sometimes they're so much more than just built upon the societal structure we all know. Sometimes it's just how we're raised. Now this, on the other hand, was shown in Girl by Jamaica Kincaid, where she states, This is how you sweep a whole house. This is how you sweep a yard. This is how you smile to someone you don't like too much. This is how you swamp, s smile to someone you don't like at all. Now this idea of like of guidelines and ways to live your life, this is how some people were raised. Right, this environment, it's the society or it's not really about the societal norms or the world view, it's about the environment. Now this aspect sorry about that. Now this at this aspect of norm, it's something that compromised her life in, in a different way, like how Amir was compromised in the kite runner and how those people or and how that child was compromised and uh, the ones who walk away from Omelas, but this girl's given a different way to live her life. She's born into a life with stereotypes and prejudice and so many other things in the world where she doesn't get to have that choice like those people in those two other short stories. Now, this was also shown in Counterfactual by Clint Smith, where he states, Within ten minutes, my father came outside, grabbed me by the forearm, and led me inside to our room. Is too tight grip unfamiliar? Can't be pretending to shoot guns. Can't be running in the dark. Can't be hiding behind anything. This idea of you can't do this, you can't do this, and you can't do that is the way that Clint Smith was raised, or the child in his stories were. 
the child and the child and his stories were. Now these people were forced, or these people were forced to live under these guidelines, and that's the way this child in the story was raised. He was raised as an African American, say, thinking that these were the things I had to limit. These were the ways I had to do things differently, and this is how I had to live my life. Now, just like girl, the or the young girl and girl in, uh, in the short story girl, she was given a different way to live her life. She there was a way she had to do some things, just like how the young boy and in, in counterfactual had to live his life. This shows us that modern literature captivates so much of that world aspect that we had forgotten in our past. Nowadays, we focus so much more on what's going on in the world, what's happening to the people around us, what are the societal norms, what's changing, right? That's different from before because we had a, before there was a much more fictional aspect to it, right? Now we've become a lot more realistic. Now we're saying what's happening and how can we talk about that? And that's one of the most important messages about modern literature today. My name is Kushal Sanjeev and thank you for listening to my presentation.